Brief Biography of Sir Alan Akebourne Akebourne was born in London, and his parents divorced when he was still a child. He left school at the age of 17, as was common for working-class English teenagers in the 1950s. He got married at the age of 18, and took a job at the Scarborough Library Theatre, which helped encourage him to write and produce plays. He succeeded in getting several plays produced in the West End in the early 1960s, including Mr. Whatnot. However, this play was a flop. Akebourne's first major success was Relatively Speaking, which made him a rich man. In the 1970s, Akebourne was at the height of his powers, with three back-to-back hit plays, all of which dealt with the plight of the British middle class. Akebourne was knighted in 1997, and to this day he enjoys a stellar reputation in the British theatre world, though he's relatively unknown outside of his own country. Historical Context Akebourne's play, A Study of Recognizably Middle Class Characters, is often discussed in terms of the economic changes affecting the UK in the late 1960s and early 1970s. In the quarter century following the end of World War II, the British middle class expanded. However, many pointed out that the middle class's lack of a common culture and ideology had left its members alienated and consumed with self-loathing, an insight that lies at the core of Akebourne's play. The play also briefly mentions apartheid, the system of racial segregation used in South Africa until the early 1990s. Key Facts Full Title, Absurd Person Singular When Written, 1971 Were Written, London and Scarborough, England, Literary Period, Post-War British Theatre Genre Social realism, though there are arguably some elements of theatre of the absurd, especially in the second act. Setting, an unnamed English city, over the course of three successive Christmas Eve parties. Climax, the arrival of Sidney and Jane Hopcroft in Act 3. <laughs>